Assalamu alaikum, I am Sohib Ahmed and I am here to discuss uh, about our proposed system of Exitio which is basically a web based application uh, or you can say that it is a web based video sharing platform. The main purpose of uh, proposing this system was uh, to provide a smooth, interactive and uh, error free platform for the users uh, to share their personal experiences, uh, to, uh, to share and watch whatever they like. Uh, so to meet the needs we have developed a platform. Uh, which provides all users to share their videos to watch the videos that are uploaded by the other persons on the platform uh, or make them their favorite or delete them what they have uploaded as uh, there are many other applications or platforms that are uh, providing such services uh, but uh, the difference uh, that we are proposing this is that we are uh, providing uh, a complete <coughs> free subscription for all the users of this platform uh, since there are many languages that can be used uh, to code this web based uh, application or software but due to efficiency, portability and uh, security needs uh, we have chosen Java using Eclipse IDE as a compiler on uh, Intel Core i5 uh, third generation with GTX uh, 1060 60GB card or 8GB RAM uh, and 1TB ROM. On the other side, at user end, the software is made to be used by the persons having a little knowledge or you can say that the basic knowledge of a computer. Uh, the minimum system requirements to use this platform is uh, core to do having 512 MB RAM uh, with 2 GB hard disk space. Uh, as this is a Java based, uh, Java -based uh, application, so you, have, you must have Eclipse IDE, IDE or NetBeans as a tool to use this system uh, with an internet connection. So the functional requirements of uh, the proposed system is uh, login, sign up and log out uh, as uh, we have both uh, uh, the two modules admin and uh, users. So users have must have uh, to sign up for their uh, accounts uh, to upload the videos. Upload videos, remove, modify videos. Basically users are not uh, allowed to remove all the videos on the platform. Uh, they can only uh, remove the videos that they have uploaded uh, and modify their accounts. Uh, user management to manage their accounts announcements only can be made by the admin uh, of the platform uh, visit profiles uh, the uh, users on the platform can uh, visit the profiles of each others or uh, watch the videos that every profile uh, every person have uploaded watching the videos uh, th as the platform is only made to watch the videos that have uploaded by the persons on the platform and uh, the users on the platform as they can visit each other's profile so they can uh, watch the videos that are uploaded by uh, each other so if they like a video they can add it to their favorite lists non functional requirements for this system is the system will be responsive secure uh, secure means that uh, the videos that are uploaded by the persons on the platform uh, will be maintained in a database uh, they are secure, not accessible by a every person on the platform but the admin. Uh, adaptable for the future changes, uh, user friendly as uh, we provide an interactive or smooth uh, a platform for the users so they can communicate to each other or, the vi or watch the videos that have uploaded on the platform. Uh, so it will be n not a complicated system but uh, simple and interactive for everyone. Now my partner Hassan will further elaborate our project. Mr. Hassan, please. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Hassan Ahmed. I will further explain the UML diagrams of our project Exitube, the online video sharing platform. First, I will tell about the class diagram. The purpose of class diagram is to model the static view of an application. Class diagrams are the only diagram which can be directly mapped with object oriented languages and thus widely used at the time of construction. The basically the purpose of class diagrams can be summarized as analysis and design of static view of an application and to describe the responsibilities of a system. Here is the class diagram of our proposed system which contain two classes of admin and user. Admin has three attributes as name, email and passwords. Similarly, user have also three attributes name, email, password. There are some methods of admin like view profile, update profile, remove user, remove, remove video. 
announcements and also some methods of the user as sign up view profile update profile upload video modify video and add to favorite here is the relation between admin and the user is one to many only one person can act as administrator of our exit tube and there are multiple users that can use the exit tube at the same time an entity relationship diagram is a data modeling technique that graphically illustrates an information system the entities and relationship between those entities an ERD is a conceptual and representational model of data used to represent the entity framework infrastructure there are basically three elements of ERD that are entity relationship and their attributes similarly the entity relationship diagram also have three entities name mail and password uh, name here name is used as primary key for relating with other tables use case diagrams models the functionality of a system using actors and use cases use cases are the set of actions services and the functions that the system needs to perform in the context a system is something being developed or, or operated such as a website there are multiple actors or people or entities operating under defined roles within the system here is the use case diagram of our proposed system exit tube here you can see that uh, user can do multiple activities like uh, he can he or she can uh, add videos to favorite sign up like uh, update profile modify delete video login and upload video similarly the admin can also perform multiple tasks like removing a user removing a video announcements login logout and etc a sequence diagram is type of interaction diagram because it describes how and in what order a group of objects works together these diagrams are used by software developers and the business professionals to understand the requirements for a new system or to document an existing process sequence diagrams sequence diagrams are sometimes known as event diagrams or event scenarios here is a sequence diagram of our project the exit tube here you can see an admin an admin can an admin is doing a uh, multiple task in a sequence he is he is entering the username password then system will verify or validate the username and passwords and then return the message success or unsuccessful if the if the credentials are true then the admin will be directly entered to the system and then he can do multiple tasks like view profile update profile remove a uh, user delete video announcements etc similarly the sequence diagram of the user is here here you can see the user will the user will input the username and, and password then the system will validate it verifies if the credentials are true then user will be logged in into the system if the credentials are true then the user will be logged in into the system exit tube then he will do multiple tasks an activity diagram portrays the control flow from a start point to a finish point showing the various decision paths that exist while the activity is being executed we can depict both sequential processing and concurrent processing activities using an activity diagram they are used in the business and process modeling where their primary use is to depict the dynamic aspects of the system here is the activity diagram of our system 
admin will log in into the system then system will verifies whether the credentials are true or false then he can able to do multiple tasks on for example admin wants to make an announcement for the users of Ex exitube then he will uh, he will go to the announcement options and then insert what he want to uh, convey the message to the users so here is the scenario you can see in the activity diagram from announcements it will go to the system then it will returns then admin can can log out here is the deployment diagram deployment diagrams are mainly used by the system engineers these diagrams are used to describe the physical components or hardware's their distribution and association with each another deployment diagrams can be visualized as the hardware components or hardware nodes on which the software components reside software applications are developed to model complex business processes efficient software applications are not sufficient to meet the business requirements business requirements can be described as the need to support increasing number of users quick response time etc here is the deployment diagram of our system exitube here you can see the objects of my pc then admin user here is the database and interfaces and how they are actually reside on the physical components of the hardware collaboration diagrams are used to show how object interact to perform the behavior of particular use case or a part of a use case along with the sequence diagrams collaborations are used by designer to define and clarify the roles of the objects that perform a particular flow of events of a use case they are the primary source of information used to determining the class responsibilities and interfaces here is the collaboration diagram of exitube you can see admin can admin admin will be logged in into a system then system will validates or verifies the credentials the password the and the username then it will directly if they are true then it will directly sends to admin to the main interface then admin can do multiple activities as they as the activities are explained earlier so here you can see it is the collaboration diagram of exitube now abdullah khan will further explains the j frames and interfaces of exitube thank you asan assalamu alaikum my name is abdullah and i will be going through each and every interface of our project at first we have a login page on the left we have admin login and on the right we have user login first i will go through the admin login i will put the credentials here these are the strings from our code and not coming from the database because the database is not integrated into the project as of yet but once it is it will all come from the database i have done something that if you put a wrong credential here it will give us an error and we have to log in again so now i will put the right credentials of admin admin login and login successful here we have a home page of our project this is a admin interface so user cannot see this interface uh, at top we have announcement label and the announcement bar here admin can announce anything that they want for users here we have different tabs and at the middle we have the activities and profiles of different users like what they are sharing on our platform and what their activities are the, like user 1 user 2 user 3 and the scroll bar will expand as we go further uh, this was supposed to be a video streaming platform but because of the outdated libraries and frameworks of java we it's not feasible for us to embed a link video on j panel or in j frame at least at our knowledge we do not know how to do it and we have adapted for pictures so instead of video streaming platform it's now a social networking platform 
uh, for user tab we have uh, different users these are the registered users on our platform their username their email their profile admin can see their activities and check their profiles from here I'll go can press cancel go back to the main page and now for the announcements tab admin can announce anything from here like server down or server down for maintenance and once you click done it will be shown at the top of the screen so for the last part we have profile tab here admin can change his or her we do not discriminate their username their email address or their password and update it once we have updated it we have to log in with the new credentials rather than the old one that's all from the admin part now i will log out here and go through the user login for user login we have another feature of sign up because every user have to sign up and register their through their email in order to use this platform so i will register uh, any user here as an example Put password here and sign up once they sign up they will be logged into our straight into our platform I will log out for now and log in again to show you a clearer picture user user login again login successful and we are into our platform now here user can see different pictures of what people are sharing on this platform and like any other activity they want uh, for the second tab we have upload uh, user can browse picture from their own computer put a caption on it and upload it to the platform they will upload it from here and it will be shown directly into this page and other users can also see what they uh, they just shared so for the third part we have fav favorites uh, this is where we can see what our favorite stuff is what we have favorites in our links in our profile links and um, whatever the favorite stuff is from the whole platform it will be shown here it is actually inspired uh, from other social networking sites like Facebook and Instagram they allow us to put stuff into our favorite so we can see it for easy access later on for the last part we have profile uh, just like the admin interface we can actually change our username the our email addresses and our passwords click update and it will be updated we also have another feature for the users of my upload if you click this button here we will be redirected to the new page of my uploads we can only see our uploads here and not the other users activities we can see our activity here and we can delete and modify but we do not like it here or whatever we want so it's it's our own page into the profile embedded into it that we will click back and back and log out that is all from the interfaces now thank you